ओके हाई फ्रेंड्स मै नेम इज रेनू ई एम वर्किंग एज ए लेक्चर इन त्रिपुले डिपार्टमेंट इन जीपीटी को टूडे ई वॉन्ट टू डिस्क अबउट द पी एम एम्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट दट ईज द पर्मेट मैग्नेट एट मूविंग कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऐक्चुअली द मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो मेजरमेंट इज द वन आफ द मोस्ट इंपारटेंट सब्जेक्ट सो वैल वी कम अक्रॉस सो मेनी ब्रांचेस इवेन इट ईज मेकानिकल सिविल मैनिंग और एलक्ट्रिकल मेजरमेंट इज द वन आफ द मोस्ट इंपारटेंट वन वै बिकॉज इन आर्डर टू मेजर ए टॉर्क और इन आर्डर टू मेजर द डेप्त आफ ए वा वेल वी हेव टू गो थ्रू द मेजरमेंट्स ओनली सो टूडे ई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबउट द पी एम एम्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो ऐक्चुअली फर्स्ट आफ आल वी हेव टू डिस्कस अबउट द मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो मेजर मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विच आर यूज टू मेजर द अनोन क्वांटिटीज सो इन विच द एलक्ट्रिकल मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर वन सो एलक्ट्रिकल मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर द डिवाइजेस विच आर यूज टू मेजरिंग द अनोन एलक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटीज इन विच बेसिकली वी विल हेव इंपॉर्टेंट डिवाइजेस लाइक पी एम एम सी एम ई एंड ई एम एम्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो पी एम एम सी मीन्स द पर्मेंट मैग्नेट मूविंग कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एम ई मीन्स द मूविंग ऐरन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड द ई एम एम सी मीन्स एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट मूविंग कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एमॉंग द थ्री मेजर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स पी एम एम सी आर द वेल एडवांटेजस् इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स वै बिकॉज वी हेव सो मेनी एडवांटेजस् इन विच द पी एम एम्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स इट कंसिस आफ ए पर्मेंट मैग्नेट एंड ए मूविंग कॉल so in permanent magnet so as we know that the permanent magnet consists of two poles that is north pole and south pole in which a coil which is uh, which is uh, able to rotate can be placed so uh, actually there are two poles north pole and south pole in which uh, a aluminum frame is placed so this aluminum frame is wound with a copper coil so uh, uh, according to the according to the three laws while we come across the pm instruments we have to come across three laws that is uh, fleming's left hand rule and also the lorentz's force equation and the lens uh, lens law and also the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so first of all according to the lorentz's force equation whenever a current carrying coil is placed in a magnetic field a torque will be expressed on the conductor this is due to the motor action so in order to find the direction of the motion of the conductor we have to apply the fleming's left hand rule so according to the fleming's left hand rule when we stretch uh, our left hand in such a way that the three fingers the thumb finger and the four finger and the middle finger which are perpendicular to each other which are perpendicular to each other when the four finger represents the motion direction of the flux and the middle finger represents the <coughs> direction of the current then automatically the thumb represents the motion of the conductor so this motion of the conductor this thumb uh, direction th thumb um, represents the motion of the conductor in which the current carrying coil will be rotated so in pmm instruments as we are uh, uh, as we wound the copper coil on an aluminum frame and it is passed with a current which is ha which has to be measurable so automatically according to the lorentz force equation a torque will be expressed on the current carrying coil which tends to rotate the aluminum frame as a result this aluminum frame will rotate the uh, iron core which is cylindrical in shape as a result this iron core uh, uh, automatically rotates the spindle which is attached to the iron core as a result this spindle twi uh, twists the spring which is used to uh, control which is uh, used to have provide the controlling torque as a result this uh, uh, spring this spherical spring will be tightened so that the point attached to the spring will be moved from zero position to the final position in this way the pointer will be calibrated or the pointer will be moved on the calibrated scale from zero position to the in uh, final position uh, which is corresponding to the current which is uh, flowing through the conductor that means the copper coil next in order to find the <coughs> in order to find the direction of the um, direction of the uh, mo movement of the conductor conductor we have to apply the fleming's left hand rule as we stated earlier next in order uh, as we know that to work in order to have a the complete working of any electrical measuring instrument we have three torques that is deflecting torque controlling torque and damping torque so as we know that the deflecting torque will be provided by means of this lorentz's force equation similarly the controlling torque will be provided by using the spring control next the damping which is most important the damping will be provided by means of eddy current damping as we know that the eddy current damping will be provided by a braking magnet so the braking magnet will be placed perpendicular to the uh, current uh, rotating coil rotating aluminum frame so according to the fleming's right uh, faraday's law of electromagnetic induction 
when this rotating uh, aluminum frame which is nothing but a conductor when this rotating conductor cuts the magnetic flux which is produced by this breaking magnet uh, yeah, yeah, emf is we will be induced that is called a dmf so this a dmf will be will be able to pass a current that is nothing but the eddy current since the aluminum frame will be closed circuited so according to the Faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction and a DEMF and also an eddy current will be passed in the aluminum frame. This eddy current will oppose the cause of its production according to the Lenz, Lenz law. According to Lenz law, it states that the effect always opposes the cause of its very production. So, this very the cause will be the production, the product will be the current and its cause will be the rotation. rotation. So, according to the Lenz law, the aluminum frame will be opposed by the torque will the opposed by the force acting on the aluminum frame which is due to the lens law so in this way the damping will be provided moreover the pmm instruments are the more advantageous since the torque by weight ratio of the pmm instruments uh, compared to other instruments will be more so that the torque will be high as the torque will be high the um, reading will be more accurate and also the one of the most disadvantage is that it, it has to be used only for DC quantities only since in order to get the unidirectional torque we have to apply DC supply only. Thank you. Thank you.